Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to a brand new run. Uh, not exactly brand new to the Twitch chat, but a brand new run for YouTube, hopefully. Uh, doing a waste pack cleanup kind of thing where we're trying to clean up an entire tower with at least 90% uh, toxic buildup. Uh, using some ideology and uh, xenotypes and stuff like that. Uh, we attempted it once. I only went for probably about, oh, I don't even know, two, three, three hours until I got the kidnapped and we ran out of food and a uh, great time. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're trying again. Starting this up uh, with a crash landed on Cassandra losing his fun commitment mode, of course, because uh, that will give me a, a good seed this time. Some brand, brand new great seed. Also 25% pollution. Uh, I need a new one. I need a new one. I think they just shoot the polar bears and turn uh, them into nutri nutrient paste. Put in my full username. Uh, Lenzar is the seed. Lenzar 12081301067. Yeah, of course. Uh, let me just set a roulette to put these in. Lenzar 12081301067. Okay, add. <laughs> Hey Rambo, how you doing? Ooh, there's a seed. Crash. Why? Why? I swear, crash and burn comes up every time. Crash and burn, like every time. It's still in there. I don't know. Let me have a look. Yes, yes you are. Joke. 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 We'll just do those. There we go. I hope it's Lenza one two zero eight one three zero one zero six one seven. Because I keep saying. <laughs> Yes, you do. Food! Perfect, because that's what I have ran out of. Uh, food! Uh, done, sweet, cool, generate, go. Whoop! 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 It's just taking a while. Whoop! <laughs> Whoop! Why is it taking so long? Did I set the 50% size? I hope I said, oh, thank goodness I did. Uh, alright, alright, we need a toxic area, we need some trade people, we need it to be probably a plains, this looks great over here. What have we got in here? Uh, this is 98%, no, we probably don't want to, oh, 100%, oh, damn, that's a pretty bad one. Uh, slate marble, honestly, I don't think it's got to be matted that much how polluted it is, I think 80 to 90%, 80 to 100%, sorry. Uh, this is getting worse. These are getting worse. I need one with granite. Granite slate. 94% polluted. Sounds great to me. And then we got to set it up to be slightly larger because uh, we want to suffer. <laughs> we want to suffer. Uh, hey, Greek Ghost, how you doing? Who else just showed up? Kipes in the chat. I think you just showed up not long ago. How you, how you doing? And Rainbow, hello. Hello. Also, hi, Lenza. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. All right. Um, sweet. Year round growing. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, 94%. Sounds good to me. Howdy. How's the waste buses? Restarting. I ran out of food and got kidnapped. Uh, we also were, it just it went really badly. It, it went really bad. I won't be going to cold environment again. I just, it got too cold too quick. I'm not very good at cold environments. I have to do either partial cold and not 50% cold. Uh, or 50% year round. 50% year growing. That Whatever this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we got a custom ideology that we load up. It's called Green Supreme. Uh, we also need to switch everybody to the green peas. Just these three. Uh, just so I have them. And then I gotta find people I need, and I can't remember what I said it to last time to get such good colonists. Even though, I mean, they were good, I just, you know, died. Uh, 18 to 40, age range, intellectual, medical is what I was doing the first one. I remember that one. Uh, they're terrible. Yeah, terrible, I said. Body purists, definitely don't want that. Optimist, psychically dull and jugger. Uh, no. They were good, but they didn't have the stats I'm after. Nope. Delicate. Definitely not. Uh, chemical interest ugly. Night Owl. Mm, no. 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 Did that say rugby player? I don't know. I'm not reading everything. <laughs> I'm just looking at stats. Uh, 
colors list perfect perfect Get this man a chicken sandwich. I would like a chicken sandwich. Oh, that would be amazing. You know, a good with a bit of salt on it. Oh, even chicken salt would be great. It's like the brawler. Uh, capable of dumb labor and firefight? Definitely not. Uh, cannibal? No. Uh, kind and nudist? No. Uh, wimp and psychically dull. Good at cooking. They got some good stats, but no. Uh, nimble. You know what? Why not? Why not? A scratch scar, sickly child, 23 years old, got some medical intellectual. Sounds great! Uh, we need... We now need... We need construction. Uh, and mining would be great. How's asthma? No. Tough and psychically dull. Good at crafting, construction, and mining. Actually a good set. Uh, and then we just need probably someone better at shooting and we need cooking and plants Shooting cooking plants, uh, so let's set this up uh, We will mine a passion at least into shooting uh, Cooking and plants. We'll just set them to mine a passion and see what we get Yeah, it takes a bit longer Okie dokie 34 quick sleeper body purist second <laughs> Go, go, but, but nope. Underground is super immune. Ooh. 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 Cooking. We don't really have good plants, but I mean, there won't be good plants anyway. Hi, I'm new to this game. Are there any quality of life mods you'd recommend? Uh, go exclamation mods. Basically all them. Uh, because my mods, I do basically vanilla just with quality of life mods. Uh, so if you do exclamation mods, I have a mod list and pick and choose from there. Uh, I, I suggest all those mods. They're really nice to have. <laughs> That one. Uh, is Gorman's ever good? It gives them some cooking, but I mean, it makes them want to eat more. So <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. But I don't, there's a lot of them meant to be bad, right? I'm just trying to get the best quality people. I, oh, best quality people I get for the start of three. Uh, we need to roll some roulettes. So let's quickly do that. Let's see what three names we want to get. I really should make R uh -uh so we can put multi roulettes in. So I don't have to wait for each one and redo them. Who's it gonna be? Who's the first one up? It's Zach Donna. Well done, Zach Donna. Uh, let me just mark them off. You're a brand new one on there, weren't you? Mark is complete. Done. Not on there anywhere else, are you? I mean, you don't get multiple chances if you, even if you're on there multiple times. But uh, that's fine. That's all good. But the suspense! I mean, it won't roll them all at the same time. It'll just roll one after the other. There's always suspense. Always will be suspense. It just means I don't have to type it every time. I just type it once. Uh, what do we get? I didn't actually see. Zandrufi! Zandrufi! Where are you? Where are you in this list? There you are. Mark you off. And then finally... Finally! But anyway, to, uh... Metaverse. Welcome, by the way. Welcome. Hope you enjoy those little quick little mods. Don't have super large amount, but there's some there. And Canadian Pagan. If any of those people are here right now, tell me which colonists you want out of those three. Uh, Canadian Pagan. Where the hell are they? They're in here somewhere. There they are. Wait. All right. So we got Zach Tyler, Zandrufi, and a lot of Zeds. <laughs> Canadian pig. I don't think Canadian pig. I've seen them today. Uh, have I seen Zandrufi or Zach Tana? I think I've seen. I seen Zach Tana. Zach Tana, you you right here. Where are you? Where are you? Which one do you want? Glasses. <laughs> Glasses. Uh. Nimble. I don't think anyone's here. I'll just pick. I'll pick and choose then. All right. Zach, Donna, Azandrufi, and Canadian Pagan. There we go. Uh, with a name like glasses, they'd uh, they'd make the right spectacle of themselves. <laughs> 
was there for everybody. I'm just, if anyone was here, I want them to pick, but I don't think anyone's fully active right now, which is fine. Uh, it's saying we don't have any passion in shooting, but we do have a minor passion. I don't know why that's happening. Look, that's weird. We have one minor passion in shooting. Like, that's terrible shooting skill, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna do? Uh, right. Sweet. So now we start. Okay, this time. This time is gonna go fine. I had a really bad shot at the first attempt, but the second attempt is where it all happens. This is where it all happens, chat. This is where it all happens. Here we are. Here we go. Dropping him. Looks pretty polluted. Oh. <laughs> You, the zoom out and then you see, you just see how bad it is. Uh, all right. Is there any Pollux trees? Pollux. There is three Pollux trees. One here. One here, which is pretty close. And one up there. Okay. So, we basically want to be as close to this Pollux tree as we can. Uh, we don't have anywhere, no planting zones here. I can't, I think there's one there. They're harder to see because even if you use the overlay, it doesn't show them. Which is a pain. But you can see where I can plant. There's a big one up there. Uh, right. So I guess we just plant around here for now and we build a quick little base. Uh, so, where's my wood? Allow that. Let's set up the work. Uh, doctoring... Oh, no, you stay on that. You take off that. Uh, do we have an animal? We have a cat. All right. Construction. Cooking. Uh, your plants. And you'll do mining, but we'll get there. Um, just do that for now. Do that. They can't do research? Didn't even see that. They can't do... Oh, I didn't check. Oh, well, that's fine. So, you do clean, you do haul. There we go. Sweet. And for shooting skill, who is the best? You're level one, you're level three, and you're level two. Uh, you'll go in the front, you'll go there, and you will be my melee, I guess. You, where's the pistol? And you go to that. Uh, we got someone on plants, right? Let's just make a growing zone. In here somewhere. Nice big one. A nice big growing zone like that. Hopefully enough for rice. Uh, turn that back off. We then go and build a building. A building. It's not out of that, out of wood because we don't have that. Uh, we go nice 11 by 11. Uh, we chuck in some wooden doors, speed run startup, that's how we're doing it. Uh, we unforbid all the stuff. There we go, so they do what they want. Uh, we set up a home zone on it. How am I doing? Am I good or good? Uh, first rate? Nah, I'll be fine. I can use traps or something. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I didn't home zone correctly. There we go. Uh, do the speedruns just play on 1% threat or something? You gotta wonder, don't you? <laughs> are they good at the game or are they cheating? Not really cheating. Uh, I don't think they play on the highest difficulty, surely. Metaverse, thank you for the follow. Have some uh, chicken sounds. Chicken sounds, welcome. Welcome. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I've never actually looked into speedrunning this game. I have no idea. No idea. We need to set up a stockpile zone. I nearly forgot that. Uh, just there. And then we need to put in a couple beds. Like that. And then a... Uh, we'll do the recreation first. Uh, yeah, there. And then furniture. That. And three chairs. Done. Uh, Nick Ox! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Uh, what's that face for, Metaverse? 
Not the chicken sounds. You're not a, not a, not a fan of chicken sounds, are you? Chicken sounds are the greatest, greatest of sounds. Uh, speedruns, yeah, they do exploit. That's very true. You would, you would expect them to play not on the highest difficulties, right? They would play on lower ones just to try and get their things done. Surely. I'm not sure what it was. It's a very, like, disapproving face. Wait. Yeah. Disapproving face, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Use more chicken sounds! <laughs> They're all the same chicken sound, just layered. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't really- I haven't really found a good chicken sound. That's the one I found that like sounded decent. I'm like, okay, I'll just use that one. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright. Alright. Uh, we need to protect this Pollux tree, so we probably should build a thingy around that at some point. Uh, also... We need to build... Our simple research bench. The trees are in the way. That's fine. That's fine. Let's speed up the game a bit. It's uh, pretty slow at the moment. Okay. Cutting down trees is fine. Having meals is fine. Is that another run? No, it's the same one. <laughs> Apparently someone got a ship built and off the planet in 23 minutes. 23 minutes. Did they up all the research speed and stuff? Because it takes a long time. And I guess the difficulty was set to the... What? what I want to know what settings they used. 23 minutes. What did they use? There's a lot of research to do. You have to go through the whole research tree. It was pre-research. They, they just set the um, storyteller to give that research and they just built it. I bet. <laughs> Hello! Pollux tree. What's your radius? We can put a little wall around you, I guess, but we can't cover the water side. That should be fine, though. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. I'm not gonna finish the base, though. Too much wood. Too much trees to cut down. And we're very bad at doing tree cutting. Very bad. At least we got beds! We slept out outdoors, but we got a bed. Right? We sleep under the stars in a nice cozy bed. <laughs> what is the tree about? It destroys uh, toxic waste. So we want to protect it because we won't get any more. Unless we get buy a seed, I guess. We could buy the seed to try and grow more. But uh, having it pre-existing, they will just clean up waste. It, the net, it will clean one tile in eight hours to go. But uh, that'll happen. Hey, Nagox, how you doing? How you doing? That's a couple of extra chicken sounds. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, Pollux trees will be very beneficial since we're trying to clean this entire tile. And the only way to get rid of waste is the Pollux tree or the uh, waste pack atomizer, but you need to be a mechanic to get that, so we can't do that because otherwise we'd be making waste. So I will just settle for, you know, doing the Pollux tree way. I picked the starting location because I want to start it in the wasteland and in a tile that I could survive in instead of the freaking frozen tile I picked last time. Uh, masterwork dining chair. Are you, what? Really? Uh, the furniture is engraved with a representation of Zaktana riding in a drop pod in a precision landing. A giant, uh, a nearby gnat is looking up, startled. The image contrasts emptiness with hope. The As an interesting contrast, several artists appear in the main subject. The artwork represents Zaktana landing in a drop pod the 2nd of April, May. Uh, 5500, literally the landing. But yeah, I picked the location. I, I was looking for a good spot that was in a waste area and near some people that I could trade with and uh, in a temperature environment where I could grow food year round and stuff like that. A nearby gnat. Yeah. A gnat, you could say. A cat. A gnat and a cat. A cat gnat. Alright. 
Uh, we also haven't built a torch. We'll build that too. There we go. Woo! Suffering! Always. Always, Anderson. Always. Uh, why are you so moody already? Start environment darkness, slept outside, ate without table. Well, well, fortunate. Gosh, your porn's so attractive. Look at them, they're beautiful. Here's your stats, by the way, if you missed it. You're tough and psychically dull. <laughs> uh... So they will become my royal because I'm do definitely doing the royal way. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you complete the quests that pop up in the early game. I've always find early uh, find it always too early on, and then affects someone later. Uh, it I haven't had any yet, but it depends which one are you talking about. I I always try to do quests. Quests are really good. Good for rewards. Is this a new colony? No. <laughs> Why? No reason. <laughs> no reason at all. It's just, it's, it's normal. It's just the same colony. I just, you know, decided to um, build a new base in a different area, you know? Just, just building a new base in just a little bit of a different area. Just in the same, definitely the same tile. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could probably build the, um, the ball research bench now, too. There we go. Wait. Sure, sure, yeah, it seems like it. Exactly. Different, I renamed the people, too, just in case. Uh, so the speedrun strat seems to be abandoning the calling immediately, randomly roaming a one-man caravans around the map, and waiting for the ship to the stars event to spawn. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> On a 25% size world, I guess. Yeah. That makes more sense. I didn't even think about that, Lenza. I didn't even think about that. I never, I never go to the ship that appears on the map. I've never been to it. I've actually been to it once, but that was just like a thingy. That was just a, just to see it kind of thingy. But I haven't done it since, because I always just built my own. I've never accepted one because I never got one that far into the game to be confident in the unknown threat won't end my game. Yeah, I understand that. I understand. Are you playing with the DLCs uh, as well, Metaverse? Or are you just playing the base game? Because I've noticed that the DLCs change the um, quests that pop up. This quest I've never had again since I got the DLCs. Only vanilla. Okay, yeah. So there's quests I've never had after getting the DLCs. I've never seen them again. Uh, one that I can think of at the top of my head was a one that you had to go and be a mediator between two factions who were having a talk, basically an ally talk, based, and that, that one's never come up again. I saw that all the time before I got the DLCs, and ever since I've had them, never seen it again. Not ever. I, I, I think the DLC has actually removed some of the the quests. I don't know. Or, or an update did. I don't know. It's just gone. That quest is just gone. I've never seen it again. I have to go through the quest list, I guess. Through the thingies. Uh, you're leaving? There well. Uh, the unknown threat. Okay, let me, let me talk about the unknown threat, though. The unknown threat is depending on how many people you send to do it, right? So if you send two people, the unknown threat might be two or three enemies. Uh, I've noticed it depends on how many people you send. So I've occasionally just sent one or two people, well, two people mostly because you got to protect the other. Uh, and then I don't really have to deal with much. I've noticed it works that way. I'm not 100% on that though. I might be wrong, but that's what I've seen happen. Uh, let's climb in the ship and then wait for the launch. On peaceful Phoebe, it seems no raids come. That's just so... Lame. <laughs> Why even play the game? Based off the wealth. Yeah, so. Because colonists are wealth, I guess. That's why I'm counting it to wealth. I mean, counting it to colonists. But, um, yeah. Less wealth makes the off-map threats easier. Yeah, but some speedruns are interesting. Rimworld speedruns just sound boring. 
Like, absolutely atrociously boring. We are gonna get some shooting skill. Where'd it go? Oh, we're shooting now, okay. Oh god, we're bad. There you go. Okay, we got a tiny bit of shooting skill. Uh, you may resume your normal duties in life. There we go. He probably didn't even sit at his computer the whole time. Probably not. I I very briefly left for like 20 minutes. Did you get raided and murdered? Yeah. Uh, so last one was basically a murder. I couldn't kill them because people had food poisoning and stuff. So they just got down so quickly and I couldn't stop them. <laughs> I couldn't stop them. He lost because he didn't have your support. Yeah, Burris wasn't here, so I lost. I died. It's all Burris' fault now. I'm just blame Burris. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I just I couldn't I couldn't do the raid. You need you really need to get outer walls up and stuff to protect your base and trap tunnels and stuff like that early on. Especially with Cassandra. I got so used to Randy. I I got I got used to Randy and I forget that Cassandra's more consistent with her raids. You gotta be very careful. Hello, who are you? What have you got? You got a barrel. I don't need it right now, but um, you got components. I'll buy them. Who's my social person? Uh, it's Zach. Zach Dana. Why'd you wake up already? Okay, that's fine. I'll just buy those. Um, that'll do. I'm just after the components for now. Uh, I'm used to being blamed for everything. That's okay. That's, that's good. That means I can. Can I continue then? <laughs> uh, could you uh, could you stockpile pemmican for the winter in the previous run? The the problem is that it was very hard to get meat because there wasn't many animals on the map besides rats. Uh, so since pemmican requires meat as well as um, other thing, I probably could have, but it would have been very difficult. The the fact that waste doesn't really like if we look at the wildlife or we've got. We got boomalopes this time, at least. Uh, but, I mean, it's not a very broad range of food. So I need plant-based food. Rat pemmican. What'd they give me? Oh, an iqua. A steel iqua. Oh, research time. Uh, okay, back we go. Uh, what do I start with? What do I start with? I need to probably just go straight up smithing. Uh, we also need to name everything into. <laughs> Where's the Mecha Kid? That runs over. That runs done and finished. That finished uh, yesterday. The Void. Uh, we need a... Oh, actually, I was going. I already had some. What are we called? I forgot. What was it called? Um, the name. The name. The name was just green peas. Uh, factions green peas, and the settlement is just like uh, wa waste cleanup site one. There we go. There's there's your answer. Please don't. There's your answer. <laughs> We're cleaning a very messy tile Eventually, it'll take a while to get to there, but it's already started. We've already begun cleaning No one it's too late now <laughs> rat burgers <laughs> rat burgers uh, All right, so we need to get onto this and start making some granite Uh, and set up a stockpile zone specifically for stone blocks. Hey, what? Why is it doing that? That's weird. Preferred. There we go. Sweet. And what can you do? What can you do to help the colony? You've got mining, plants, and cooking. You can cook once we get food. That will be great. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know. 
Be honest, never. Never. I will never be honest. Never again. Uh, alright. Sweet. We got a lot of people on the name of Collins list. I am. Actually, what we could do is get rid of some of these trees right next to our base because they're right in the way. Right in the way. And then we can probably upgrade and move into a different room so we're not all just packed into this one storage room here. Uh, that would be fine, fine and fantastic. That'd be fine and fantastic. Uh, as for defenses, we probably want to put some defenses around. Uh, so probably, that looks like a grow zone. That looks like a nice grow zone. That's a grow zone, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. It's actually, that might just be stony soil. No, I can't tell. Stony soil, rich. No, there's rich soil. I, I, I feel like I could just hover it. <laughs> there's rich soil there. Uh, is that all rich soil? Oh, damn. That's all rich soil. So was that. It's easier to see sometimes. Oh, and so was that, I think. Oh, not all of it. That's mud and rich soil. Um, we got some good grow zones. We got some good grow zones, uh, but that's not a very good spot for a grow zone, to be honest. Not exactly a good spot. Good spot a bother. BRB, me too. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. I'm still here. I'm still here for ages. I gotta drink some water, though. Ah, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So! What are we gonna do? Get the fences up and probably get food. Um, <laughs> that would be some good starts. Uh, build some traps. We're getting the granite. How about we use our granite to protect our base? Uh, we need to... Let me just set up some planning. to Try and... Figure out where I want to... Defend the base. I'll use the double layered walls for now. I just want to include that. Oh, first raid's already here. Damn. That was quick. Uh, that's all grow zones, so we'll probably include that. I won't be building double layered walls at the start, but I will be doing something, I guess. Like that. Uh, we want to include as much of this area as we can, so we'll just do that. Uh, is this too big? That is the question. That is the question. Let's go to here or something. It might take a while to build that, but it's a good start. Uh, did I put it in the right spots though? God no! Uh, that, that is right through a swamp. Um, hmm. That one's fine. I'll figure out this raid in a sec. I'll figure this out, right? So, we're just gonna go probably around this then. And like that, so... Like that. That looks beautiful. It goes right around it. Okay, done. Done and dusted. Cool. Where's this raid? A single person? They attack immediately? Didn't you not even read it? Preparing for a while. Perfect. What have you got? A knife. Perfect. Let's go get some shooting skill on them. Let's go. I uh, always start a big perimeter, but I'm a glutton for punishment. Me too. I, I keep doing the same thing. I love, I love some... Oh, can we get a bit closer so we can shoot at them? There we go. Shooting skill time. Shooting three. Nice, we leveled up already. It doesn't help that it's raining as well. Don't go in there, I can't see you in there. Hate him. I bet I use you too. There we go. Get a bit beyond it. Perfect. Now we can go back to shooting. 
God, we're so good at shooting. Oh, oh my God, this is terrible. Can we shoot him? Yeah, we can. Okay, get him. Oh God, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Help, send help. Mistakes were made. Death's happening. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> uh, you need to go home. You are bleeding, so therefore you won't be able to run. How come you're slow, by the way? That's weird that you're so slow. Nimble, yeah, that's why. That was not them as slow. They're just, you know, nimble. Hey! Went back in there. God damn it. It's alright. He's tough. He'll, he'll tough it out. Are you my doctor? Who's my doctor? Yeah, you're my doctor. Thank goodness. Get him. Jeez. I'm scared. Send help. Oh, I thought they were actually attacking then. Oh my god. <laughs> They're only like level four. Yeah, not exactly good. I probably should actually leave before they start attacking because uh, they won't be able to outrun him. And they're hungry too. There you go. Um, my poor cat. He's coming. He's coming. My cat. Are you fine? Hold the line. Okay, now just to keep attacking. We're just gonna have to do it. There we go. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh, they had such a high melee as well. Oh, and they were tough. Oh goodness. Uh, we survived with just a crack. We're alive. Uh, you need to be able to tend yourself. There we go. Oh, okay, you're fine. Sweet. Oh my goodness. It was attacking, just turned around and walked off. Yes, when they're preparing, you can kind of just walk up to them, shoot them, and then run away. And then they stop. He's alright. Yeah. 60 year old too. Uh, probably should dump them somewhere too. Let's just dump him in the lake. Uh, let's put a dumping zone over here. Uh, for specifically human corpses. Uh, preferred. Done. Have you ever done no pause? I've done ch like a temporary challenge for no pause, but uh, no, I don't tend to because I take too long to think about things. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if I'm good enough for no pause. It just seems so complicated. All right, nice and clean. Clean up the base, looking good. Uh, how you doing? You'll heal up, you'll be fine. Oh, smoke leaves on again. Ugh, every time I have to turn this freaking thing off. You're not allowed to have smoke leaf. I hate it. I hate it. There we go. This drops the consciousness too much. Look at that. Why would you want smoke leaf? It's terrible. 
That's basically how my colonist was in the last run, and that's why they died. <laughs> why, would, why would I want to reduce consciousness? Such a terrible drug. Psychite tea, so much better. So much better. Also, I need to um, add that back off. There we go. Uh, so, we got food now. We got food. Uh, we need to... We've got some of this stuff. We could probably start setting up some of the wall. Uh, as for kill box location, I need it pretty close. So we'll probably just put it here. Uh, we will set that up now, I guess. I'll just try to figure out where I'm going to put it. Probably there. And then... I think that's correct, but I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, no, yeah, definitely wasn't. I was close, though. I was on off by one. Uh, Alright. Sweet. Done. Done and dusted. Just go out to here somewhere and just set this up. Okay. Well, that light lines up all nicely, actually. There we go. Sweet, right at the edge of the base. Uh, so that looks good. Thrombo! Thrombo! On screen as well. Camera, camera thrombo. Thrombo plush. You can barely see it because my freaking white shirt. I should stop wearing white shirts. Can't see the thrombo. Thrombo. Okay, um, right. Sweet, sweet. Time to build. Structure. Granite. Uh, we will... We'll build this section first. The straight up the trap tunnel and everything. Does it work from this angle? Yes. Forget which angle it doesn't work at. There's a weird bug where it doesn't work at certain angles. Uh, I will probably put a door on this exit side as well. There we go. Wait. Hey, Penguin Healer! Not my birthday still. Right month now, though. We're in the correct month. We're getting there. <laughs> Wait, what do we put in? Oh, I actually did the whole... Okay, yeah, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I gotta get this... Uh, trap set up. Cool. It's gonna take a while to build, though. All right. Don't tell me my builder is also the crafter. No, it's not. Thank goodness. Yes, they are. What? Ah, uh, I looked at the wrong thing. Ah. Uh, God damn it. That's the worst. That is the worst thing to happen when you have the builder and crafter at the same time, and then they don't get freaking things done because they're building and crafting, which means they just need to. Craft things built and then oh my god. Everything sucks. It's fine, we'll get there. We'll make it. Hello, Thrombo. Grab them as well, why not? Why not? And we got our first research complete. Let's continue on to machining. That way we can get the stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pollution pump came with uh, electricity, so that means we've got that already, but we're not going to use it straight away anyway, because uh, we don't want to get rid of that much pollution. Because, you know, stuff and things. Stuff and things. 
That guy's got no head. Something ate his head. Maybe the cat. Does it actually log? No. After they're dead, it doesn't log anything. Alright, we have to accept this one because of our ideology. Uh, so... We need to give it to... I don't remember who. Um, Zaktana. Because they're the only one that can become royal. Uh, so quests! I don't, didn't see what they're being chased by, but they're chased by something. They're chased by something. A man hunting cat. How scary. I'm down to here. We'll deal with the cat as it gets to us. shot. Nice shot. Okay, very nice. <laughs> we just stabbed it and it died. Wow, that was a- that was a brutal stab. That was one stab with a knife. Body, liver, leg, two legs, and a paw. Oh my god. That poor cat. That poor, poor cat. Are we out of food? When did that happen? Uh, let's go and make some food, I guess. I didn't even know that. That was so quick. Build stove. Put that there. What exploded? I heard a boom. Oh, right. Yeah, you go. I forgot they were drafted. Get out of here. All right, we have Psychos already. <laughs> or we will if we do the ceremony. But at the moment, we're fine. Okie dokie. I'm gonna forbid the rest of this because I need them to do the food stuff and not eat the raw rice. I need you to build the food making thingy. There we go. Now... Okay, perfect. What is your cooking skill? Oh no, we can cook this times four. Never mind. Uh, cook simple meal times four. Which we have 20, pause, unpause at five. There we go. I thought they were bad cooked, but they're not. And they're a good cook. They're actually a decent cook. So therefore we can cook four meals at a time because uh, we don't have to worry so much about them being very bad quality. Uh, also, the room is clean enough. That's fine. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Continue building that as well. There we go. So wait, my outer wall has begun. Takes a while. It takes a while. What's going on? What's happening? Have you, has anyone else done no pause or anything? It seems like a streamer only kind of challenge thing to do. Or a YouTuber, I guess, as well. But no pause just looks so difficult because I have to spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to do to survive. Uh, I don't have the reaction speed to kind of move people around while the game is still running. I basically pause, I need to figure out where people are going to go, move them, and then unpause. Dead cat. Yeah, exactly. The, the the raids are just like, you actually have to really think about it before they get to you. And then when they're there, you still got to position people like one at a time, move them out of the way and stuff like that, especially if they get through your defense. And it's like, you really got to think about it. It's just, it's tough. It's super tough. Uh, we might forbid these so they just make a bunch of granite for now. Because it just takes longer otherwise. There we go. That's a bit better. Who's the hauler? 
Oh, Xander Rufy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I really need another person. I would love another person. Uh, it could be anyone, as long as they can do hauling. I just want someone that could move stuff, you know? Move stuff around. Uh, but I have done no pause, but I don't think I really had a raid during some of the no pause challenge I did. No pause. But, um, what else have I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I'm gonna be good enough. I do, I do like to not watch the game, too. Uh, I probably will just use the pumps, yeah. I'll just toggle them on and off as needed. Uh, the actual manual cleaning takes a long time, so we'll probably just dump, jump over to the, using the pumps in different areas. Put some, I don't know what, how we'll power them. How much power do they take? Uh, 200 watts. If we get one of the mech, um, one of the, can't think of the word, uh, uh, the unstable power cells, that should be enough to power them. Uh, we just have to cover them up, basically. Uh, and then I guess we're just using the Pollux trees to actually get rid of the waste, so it'll be very slow. But I would like to get started as soon as possible because it'll take ages otherwise. I don't even think we'll clean the entire tile, but I would like to clean... I would like to get it down a fair bit, I like starting from the center and get as much as I can cleaned. And I don't know, what, what, what should we aim for? I would like to clean the whole thing, but I don't... I can't really see that as fully happening. I, currently, we're at 93%. Uh, getting it down below 50 would be a good goal, but I, th I, I wonder if we should aim lower than that. Like... 20% or something. 25%. 450 for the cell. I think it's 400 for the cell. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's 400. So you could really power two. Can you move the uh, waste pumps or are they a permanent? You have to de deconstruct them kind of thing. I actually don't know. There's a thread coming out of my shirt. Oh no. I can't. I only used them once and that was when they came out. I can move them, of course. I wouldn't say of course, because there's a lot of things that you would think you could move and you can't. <laughs> uh, you get enough power and steel in the components, you can just post the pumps everywhere. Although it says it makes... Yeah, it turns them into waste packs. It doesn't clean it up. That means I need to dump it near the tree. Which is why I can't have too many, because then I'm just going to run into the same problem of just ending up with waste everywhere anyway. So I need to only do one or two at a time and then just dump it around the tree once the tree's cleaned up enough. Uh, and then that way it'll be cleaned up slowly because the th tree only cleans up in that radius around it. So once it's done that, it won't do anything. So we need to just like clean up waste in other areas and dump it near the tree. I can buy more seeds, yeah. I can buy the tree seed, but I won't be able to get it any other way. They're, they come in the exotic goods, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I would definitely be cleaning up these these grow zones and stuff. Probably should have used this one. Um, oh no, it's not really great. I think this one should be alright. We'll get rid of this one. And probably this one because that's two nice little small grow zones there. And they're pretty, pretty far outside my area. I guess. Uh, how much have we done? 220? Yep, sweet. Work on that again. Done. So you could make one area covered by like 10 trees and then you could remove packs really fast. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how close together they can be. I've never tried, but I would say they have to be like probably three tiles apart. Um, uh, well, other trees grow right next to each other. Maybe they can be next to each other. Uh, the the, uh, the trees don't remove waste packs. Basically, you just gotta wait till the waste pack destroys in the area, and then the tree will clean that up. Uh, so that's how it works. It doesn't remove the actual waste pack. It removes the the tile as the corrupted tile, basically. Oh, that's the worst thing to be mad. Oh, 
You're pretty far away, but I need you trained up, so... Come down here, we need to get some shooting skill. Oh, that's... Oh, it doesn't matter. Get it! Yeah, we're so good at shooting. Why is it not attacking? Oh, it is coming now. Okay. Are rats faster than people? I'm gonna say yes. No. The rat's too fast. Oh, we got it. All right, sweet. <laughs> I've never grown them. Do they spit out waste packs? Was it pollution? No, it's just gone. It, as you can see, Leah, look. It just cleans it up. So I'll go to every tree that's been happened so far. Just gone. There's a third one somewhere. Right here. So they're all done the same. Because they've been in the, the, around the same time. They just clean it up. You can see that nice little square at the moment they've made. Uh, but yeah, they just get rid of it. God, that red really hurts eyes. I tell you. I hate red. I hate looking at the red. But yeah, they're really good. No, but uh, yeah, I can't move them. You can move any other tree, but for some reason, except for, I guess, the, um, the anima tree. Fire spread. I probably want to get rid of that just, just in case. Transport pod crash. I do need to rescue whoever's in the transport pod. Um, 52 though, and you're terrible. I need a prison. Uh, I am definitely not taking Wasteback quests, because that would just make my life even more terrible. Uh, we can structure, build, wooden. I don't actually want them. I want to just imprison them until they're safe. So, who is the doctor? Is it you? Yeah, have you been tended? Yes, okay. So I don't want to rescue them yet. I'm going to tend them. Okay. And then a hot a medical a, a prison. Ah, cough. Yeah, but why would I make my life harder when I want to clean the tile? Why would I take waste packs? They have to deal with it. Uh, this is for... Not medical. Prisoners. You're not part of a faction, are you? There we go. Wait for them to heal and we'll release them. Done. More pollution on the map, the more chance every year for a Pollux tree you'll have. Really? Damn. But the whole point's to clean the tile. So I don't want to do that. The whole point is to clean this tile. I don't want to put more pollution on the map. If I wanted to do that, I'll just get more mechs. What is a Pollux tree? This bad boy, he cleans up pollution. Uh, you can see the pollution cleaning area. Just did it again. Uh, it cleaned up a little bit of pollution. They've got three of them on the map so far. One there, one there, and then one down here. They're cleaning up waste. They have a small area around it where they can clean up. Infection! Is that on that person? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so they're very good to have. You can buy them. Uh, apparently they grow. 
Who's that? But think of America. They love freedom so much they try to give ev give it everywhere. Yeah, their freedom's not... I won't say anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like their freedom. I'm not a fan of American freedom. I'm sorry, Americans. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of your freedom. Your freedom doesn't sound very free. <laughs> Already attending. Okay, that's fine. I probably should put a light in there, shouldn't I? Might make tending a bit better. There we go. I don't think America's the most free country in the world. No, I don't know. I don't think so either. I th like, I'm not saying Australia's like the best country either, but like there is other countries. I've, I've heard of some really good free countries out there. There's some really freaking amazing ones. Uh, I will be, yeah. I, I'll be protecting as many trees as I can. Ah, raid! Attacking immediately? What are you? You're a naked freaking Neanderthal. Oh god, you're you're actually kind of scary. Your legs hurting, your speed's a bit lower. That's a good sign. Uh, because we cannot shoot very well. <laughs> we cannot shoot. But yeah, I'll be protecting the trees eventually. Okay. You wanna shoot him or oh no, there we go. Okay, we got in range. Ah, even better. What's their name? I don't know. Can't be bothered. Yes! Improve the shoot. Oh yes, we're getting some hits fun. They're actually hitting! Okay, we need to back off now. They are pretty scary. They're slow at least. Shooting six! Yeah, we did it! We're doing it! Oh no, fire is though. <laughs> the uh, uh, the fire will burn the trees. So I need to um, I need to protect them. I don't want them burning down. They won't attack the trees, but any fires in the map will burn the trees, especially from lightning storms and stuff like that. Uh, and especially since they clean up the area, grass and other trees will grow next to them, so I I probably have to, I don't know, floor around some of it? I just don't know where it's safe to do that. Uh, let's actually go straight to power, because we're going to need something to deal with doing stuff. Uh, I've already, I, I didn't go tree ideology, just because they don't like cutting down trees, and I took out everything to do with the ideology. I got human primacy and collectivist. Uh, we're about protecting nature and people. Not animals, though. Not animals. Uh, so, currently, in the ideology, we have, uh... Only respective guilty thing. No slavery. Uh, we do charity. Uh, we are allowed to use, like, social drugs, but that's about it. Uh, work drive is tripled, which is very nice. Uh, no bonding with animals. Uh, what else is there? That's about it. Uh, we have a couple of rituals. We have a couple of relics we can get, which I never do. Maybe one day I'll do them. Maybe this time I'll do them. I don't know. I always start them, but I never finish them. Uh, we got production specialists as well from Human Primacy. Which is kind of nice. Uh, how are you going? Are you going to survive? Yeah, you'll be fine. Alright, we need to upgrade as well. Okay, we built some of that. We need to build, I guess, another 11 by 11 made of granite. I don't have any granite. Because I don't have much storage room. Just expand it into that section for now. There we go. Yeah, if I build next to the trees, they won't. Because uh, meteorites try to avoid as much as they can, but I don't know. I can buy new trees. I can buy the uh, seed to grow some new ones. So I'm not too concerned if I lose some because I can get them back, but I prefer not to lose any. To be honest. I prefer to keep them all. Alright, get some granite. We just need to... Oh, there's no space. Um, 
Can I go this way? Am I allowed to build in that direction? Do I have enough space? I did. I did this perfect. Okay. Like that. Uh, we will... Copy the settings and we'll just move this out here somewhere. And move that to there. So wait. Done. No, oh, my rice! I'll let him sleep though. I'll let him sleep. But I was considering the tree ideology until I looked into the tree ideology and I just rolled a meme, I should say. The tree meme. And it just is terrible. Okay, I need them working. Who is the plant person? Please go and cut all this light. I need it all fixed. Go, go, go. That's an old one, I think. Yeah, it's just them. I just don't remove the thingies. I'm not keeping them either. I put them in prison just because I want to heal them up and send them away. It's spreading too much. We're losing some of the stuff. Okay, I actually think I did it. So wait, and then turn you back down. Cool. Nice. 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 Everything's coming along. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't remove the stuff. These This person's too old. I didn't really want them. 52 years old just has bound to have problems. And a teetotaler and a... Toddler, tea toddler, whatever it is, and abrasive, uh, which is can lead to problems. And they've only got mining and intellectual, and they're freaking fifty-two. They're, they're, they've got to be okay. I can actually probably release them now. Need to help prisoner. How about we convert them and then release them? There we go. Didn't say you're in. Uh, will I survive this run or get a Burius? Probably get a Burius, to be honest. The last run, the people got a Burius. Everyone did, except for one, I guess. Oh, 2%. What's your social skill? Six. Oh, well, that's fine. They're not in a very good environment either. I need to be a better prison. I need to be a better prison. There we go. Yeah. Done. Rearranged. And then we should probably put a little grow zone in here. And fill it with not... What I was going to put daylilies in there. Don't put, pat but don't put pats in there. Put some daylilies. There we go. Cool. Why do you all look like Shreks? Because we love the swamp. <laughs> We love the toxic waste. I don't know. It's what people said in chat. I went green. Uh, attacking immediately. Pretty smart. They have a gun. I'm not ready for these kind of raids just yet. I probably should just put traps around the base or something. Okay. But miss. 
Okay, good shot. Okay, now we go inside. Right? You ready for this? Uh, we've born to the toxic waste, molded by it! Alright. Hey! Frickin' shot ourselves. That's an excellent revolver? Damn! Uh, what are you? You're a bit meh, to be honest. Nice. Marcus Reed, I see you redesign your living area with flowers. Would pot plant or four be better? Time saver improve the happiness enough? Could, no, because uh, you only get one plant and you still have to replant it. So I think that just putting some dirt, leaving the dirt and just putting the flowers there is just a bit easier. It works just as well. Uh, how are we doing? You're bleeding. Who's my medical professional? You're self-tending. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's still the same work. It's just you get more quality from just dumping a larger area. Alright, you fine now? Yeah, we're fine. We'll survive. Yeah, uh, flowers don't actually need much light, so a torch is actually fine. Uh, so... We go to this and their light light requirements only 30% uh, and torches give up 50. Harder to see. Uh, bottom left corner down there you hover in the room is 50%. So it's enough to grow flowers but regular crops need I think 100%? No 51% just above the lighting that you can output. So it's better to plant them in the sun or use a light what are they called a sun lamp the sun lamps also give a hundred percent i thought i unforbid you why were you forbidden again weird i don't think we'll be converting let's just release them they're probably a, um... No, they're not resistant either. Nah, just release some prisoner. Release. There we go. Not wasting food on them. Uh... I might consider that for some areas then, I guess. Normally I treat any plant pots as outdoors only. Unless I do the sun lamp set up underground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but flowers are fine in 50% light. Or, I think, pretty sure all flowers are. Uh, because they're more for decorative use and stuff. They can just grow indoors. They're fine. Uh, but yeah, crops outdoors. Outdoors or sun lamps. But yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. They're good for little bits of quality. Uh, but yeah, if you want a floor in your place, obviously just use pot plants and stuff. And then you can put flowers around because they've got some decent... Look, look at that, 15. Damn. Laggy. Something about other cultures, he wants to host him at the waste cleanup site one for 11 days. Will not do any work. McBlack, eh? Oh, you're terrible! Why are they giving me such terrible bonds? I might take this for... Oh, we got food, right? Is that enough for a fourth person? Oh, I think that meal. Um, maybe I'll just give him another bed. There's not much really to do around here, though. All right. It's the little things I see when watching Rimworld streams. Some I've found out and others I was just off the mark and discovering. Yeah, yeah. It gets that way. I, I've I discovered a lot of these things just by watching other people as well. Like, it's so easy to learn just by watching people to play. 
Uh, and I myself try to say some of the things, like, I don't say everything, because sometimes I'm like, everyone should know this by now. Of course not everything. Like, <laughs> you, don't, you don't really see everything. So, you're like, sometimes like, oh, wait, you can just do that? And you're like, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's so handy. Like, a lot of people obviously didn't know about the Pollux tree and what that does, because no one lives in these environments. Uh, so, Pollux tree is very good at cleaning up waste, and you can buy a Pollux seed, uh, to plant and use as well as to uh, clean up the waste, which is really good. They're a bit slow. They only do it every, like, I think, I think 14 hours or something. Uh, we'll see in a sec. So I've got two hours until the next cleanup. So we will see. But yeah, they are uh, really good for cleaning up waste. Really good for getting rid of it. Ah, goodness. Okay. 10 hours. Which isn't too bad. 10 hours and it gets rid of waste. Okay, Zandrufi, you're not doing much. Let's continue doing the wall. Uh, we're going to probably put a door. Let me actually set this up. Let me set up where I'm going to put these doors. I'll probably put one here. Uh, one down here. Probably just one on the opposite side too. Uh, one here. One here, and just one up there. So we'll clear out that. That should be fine. Okay. And now we start building the wall again. Like so. Chuck some of the doors in. I was only one to that side. There we go. Done. Cool. Nice zigzaggy wall around the lake. Perfect. Love to see it. You love it. Make like life difficult and everything. Uh, for the quest, we could take the glitter world and jade, I guess. 11 days. Ah, we should have enough. Uh, let's just set this guy up. Uh, to be on triphasic sleep schedule, so they have the much as much recreation as they can get. Because they can't work anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, perfect. So it's three and five. There we go. Problem is they'll be up and annoying the other people all the time, which is going to be a pain, but... What can you do? Sweet. Keep them happy. They have no skills. Oh, they do have skills, they're just hidden. Because they can't actually work. The blood's being cleaned up. Look, it's going away. Nice. Hey, Leontron, how you doing? How you doing? More steel out there too. Yeah, cat, get the rat. Yummy. Very good, very good. Uh, the original attempt at this run didn't go very long, Leotron, so we started a new one. <laughs> Cold and sickness and stuff just didn't work out for us. I think we had the wrong colonists and the wrong tile. Like the rain-free cleaning? Yeah, it gets rid of most of it. It's nice. It's very nice. Go. Cool. You will. Uh, I feel so bad. My Labrador dogs are taking over my base, and now I've slaughtered puppies. And the noise. I know it sucks. <laughs> I had a run like that where I was just um, I bred the dogs like crazy. I'm like, I need to get rid of the dogs. There's too many. I tried to sell them, but I couldn't sell all of them. 
Yeah, so there's some stuff that's clean, like rubble and things as well, yeah. Recovering after a seven kilometer walk under 30 degree. Why were you doing a walk in 30 degree sun for? That's insanity. Oh, an ancient danger. I didn't actually look for the ancient danger. Was there any other ones? Or just for the one? I feel like it's just the one. Which is fine. I don't think the last tile actually had one, so... Nice. Love to see it. Let's open it immediately. That'd be smart. Uh, let's forbid all the rest of that so they don't actually build it. I just want them to do the granite cutting at the moment. You do that too? You walk out in 30 degree sun? What's your mood so bad for? Uh, recreation. I think you're probably bored. No, you're just not doing enough recreation. Hmm. Some disliked xenotypes. Those xenotypes are in our community. We don't want them here. Hello there. Yeah, it prefers the the one we have. Okay. <laughs> we we don't like any other types. <laughs> we'll definitely have to get into the thingy, uh, making the xenotypes. I guess. Hey, Hellcat, how you doing? How you doing? Making custom zero types. This is not, they're only temporary anyway. Uh, we might try. Uh, switch to biphasic, that's the word. Two, three, four. Three, four. There we go. Uh, I had a farm of boom lives, went to something like 150 boom lives, was really starting to worry about the chain reaction if one dies and kills the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you're doing well, Hellcat. Hope you're doing well. I live in a village like place that so we went out to the city to exchange currency and buy some goods. Uh, the city is 3.5 kilometers away. Okay, yeah. Well, I understand then. I get it. It's not like you went, you went to just like a joyous walk. You actually went to do something. Okay. Makes more sense. <laughs> I went for a leisure, leisurely stroll in the 30 degree weather. Uh, Gornland Pod Sprout. You're alive. You survived it. You survived your ordeal. A little sick today. That's no good. Hopefully, it's not too bad and gets better soon. Our problem is, caravans wouldn't buy them from me 90% of the time. Only exotic goods by Boomalopes. It was all, yeah, Boomalopes, yeah. Uh, only only these exotic goods. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Exotic goods traders by Boomalopes. I gotta I gotta work on my speaking. My speaking can be really bad some days. I just slur everything. All right, that's coming along. So also somewhat of a self challenge, but next time I'm, I'm taking the bus or something. Yeah, understandably, understandably so. Rid of that again. All right. You got nothing to do. You got some yawns going on. God damn. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn me and the yawns. All right. I wonder when the perfect time to open an ancient danger is. Because the loot brings up your wealth so much. And sometimes the raids can be bad. I'm, I'm assuming you wait for better weapons and some protection? Probably. I don't have a chair at this um, research bench. Uh, can the person doing nothing research? Who was it? Was it Canadian Pagan? Yeah, they can. I probably should build another research table. Where do I put it? Should probably build another room, really. Go down here. Did I home zone this? I didn't. There we go. Never is the best time, but then you don't get good loot. I mean, you don't always get good loot anyway. You're right, never. Managed to sell about 60 to exotic traders and the rest. Uh, some faction was buying them, but I had to go with my caravans all to, to all their colonies. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful. 
Gotta be careful about those boomer loops. Build them up so quick. Dead rat. Alright, back to building this wall. So wait, then we're just gonna do the lower side and the upper side, and then we should be good. We should be okay. This cat won't live, by the way. This cat will end up freaking dying or something. Look, it keeps going out into the toxic buildup. I should probably make it so it stays closer to the base, but then it doesn't eat as much because we don't have food. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be okay. The cat will live. Alright. Food situation's not looking good again. We've only got six meals left. I thought, I thought this would be enough. Hello, Axel. Fix your network trouble. What's wrong with your internet? It's not working. Expand a little bit more. There we go. There we go. What was the matter? What's going on? The upgrade wasn't so upgrade. Upgrade wasn't upgrade. Who would have thought? All right. Oh my goodness. The yards are really bad today. I don't know why they're so bad. <laughs> I think it's because I stay up too late. Baldur's Gate keeps taking my time away. Send help. Send help. What am I to do? Ugh. Bold as a gate. It's too addictive. Uh, my computer was constantly never, mine still is, cutting in and out of Wi Fi. I'm still trying to figure out why. Did you get a new Wi Fi. Oh, a new router, I guess. Wi Fi router? Because, yeah, I've had trouble with some of them. Are you on Linux? No, because that would be the driver. Never mind. It's fine. Um, it, it's probably something to do with Linux still, but I, th I feel like I've had this problem before when I was running Linux. I can't remember what the problem was. I honestly don't remember. It's been a long time since I had that problem. I swear, I think what I did was I just bought a better Wi-Fi adapter for my PC. <laughs> uh, I was using these terrible ones and I actually got a good one that has a little dish that I can move around on top of my PC. Uh... I say it's a dish, but it's like two antennas on a, on a disc with a cable. Better than just poking out the back of the computer. Hey, Professor Dr. Hamster. Uh, can we even do organ harvesting? Yes. But I'm nowhere near that stage yet. All right. Well, we finished one side of the base. I haven't actually done the kill box yet, but that's fine. Uh, we can build up some more granites and then I guess we will do the bottom. Yeah, I agree, I agree Professor Dr. Hamster. I agree. I wish it could be helpful, Axel, because I remember having that problem myself, but I just don't remember what was causing it. Have you looked into... Have you tried to connect, like, to the lower... Uh... Wait, is the newer one using a newer Wi-Fi version? The new, um... Knows. Uh... New router, I guess. Using a newer Wi-Fi, like Wi-Fi 6 or something. A two servers that might be trying to... Oh, it could be that too. Why would it all start all of a sudden though? Find us up with the 5 gigahertz. Every once in a while, it loses connection. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. It should never lose connection. Because uh, I'm on 5G right now and I'm streaming through it. So. <laughs> I'm on the 5 gigahertz one right now. I call it 5G, but also mobile is 5G, so it's confusing. 5 gigahertz line. Uh, but yeah. I stream through it. My door's closed. I'm freaking in a different room. It's like two rooms away from me and it streams just fine. Maybe I configured a service that auto connect to the old one. 
Oh, it might be that, and it's trying to do it, but it can't because it doesn't exist. Don't you go loving one of our people. Pursued Canadian Pig by subtly complimenting his, his skills. Turned away. Yeah. You got some good skills there. Chip to the stars. There it is. Where is it actually on the map? I don't know where I am. Oh god, literally opposite end. As far away as it could possibly be. I mean, it could be further, but still. Terrible. How, how are you supposed to do those? It's, they suck. 50% size world one suck, I should really say. It picks the farthest point on the map and then goes, um... And puts it there. On the world, I really should say. Not map, it's a world. There we go. Just wide a bit more, less packet loss and no interference. Very true. Very true. Mind you, it, my Wi-Fi has been so good lately, I have not dropped a single frame in so long. The only time I've actually disconnected was because OBS died or crashed or something. Uh, so yeah, no frame drops, nothing. L literally perfect stream. Perfect stream and I'm just using Wi-Fi. Like, it's surprising. It's actually surprising. Usually I drop, like, a, a couple hundred <laughs> over, over a full stream. So, the fact I have not dropped a single one in so long is just amazing. But yes, I agree. I trust, I, I trust wired connections more. I just can't do it where I am. Uh, I'd have to set up a whole wired network in the house, and I don't want to do that. Uh, a wild man. You wandered into the wrong tile, buddy. Uh, cannibal tough. 34 years old, good at construction, cooking, artistic, and social. Capital of intellectual. I mean, they could be good. Having another constructor would be alright. Uh, how, how's my animal handling? Terrible. No, I can't tame him. Never mind. Recurve bow legendary. Uh, I want you to take care of a favorite pet. A goat. Paralytic goat. Yeah, I don't really think I can do that. Tough. Yeah, I just can't tame them. I need, I think you need animal handling of five to tame a person. Oh, there's actually food up here. Seven. You need seven. Best handler has zero. Yeah, we're not doing that. You know why we have zero? Because of our, uh, our gene. Awful animals. Even if you put them in prison, you still have to tame them. You can't convert them. You can't convert a wild person. You have to tame them. So, I can't. <laughs> also, no, I don't really have that much food at the moment either. I'm trying to grow more, but it's taken a while. I really should get that zone. To rescue them, but you can only rescue them if you hurt them, which means I'd have to make them angry. So... Yeah, probably won't do that. Uh, we've got the granite now. Let's quickly just... Build. This up. Get rid of that too. doors in. I also haven't home zoned this in a while either. Let me just do all of it for the future when I do expand. There we go. Okay. And finally across there and done. All right. Make them a blood donor to get a handler. See, I don't think I ever will though, because I need to convert people to this uh, xenotype. It's a requirement. So everyone will lose 
Um, bingo. It will fall on its own with pollution anyway. True. Or they'll come down in here and just eat my food where it's uh, protected. They'll steal my food. I should have added a gene implanter. I probably should have. Oh, at least he's taken the berries. Good. I'll probably have to kill him. Uh, when's the next raid set? Should be now. We should be getting a raid soon. Should be getting another raid in a second, and then we'll just have to deal with that. Um, you're doing okay. Sweet. Like with Amazons. I never got the implanted with, um... The Amazonian women version run thing. I had to do it all manually. Alright. Doe Kid! Great name. Great name. Probably should get rid of all the wooden walls, especially around the storage room. Replace it with granite. Granite! How you going? You've cleaned up a fair bit. I wonder if I should take that, actually. Oh, they can do that. Cool. Thanks. Don't worry about that. I just want that. Can you haul? I can make them equip it, but no. <laughs> no, I can get more people. They just won't be happy that there's other people. Because they're like now. Right now. Because I have... Um, this person, we've got unlike uh, some dislike xenotypes. Uh, I can still get other people, but I will just have to upgrade them eventually. It'll be fine. I can sell the smoke pop. I could, or I could wear it. They're wearing it right now. Uh, we're out of granite, so we will forbid the last bit of this wall here, and we'll just make the rest of the granite for now. What do you keep going back for? Seventeen meals, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Combat supply. I actually got a trader finally. Hello. You got face masks on or are you just coming in? Oh yeah, you got face masks. They're like, yeah, we'll come in with face masks. We'll be protected then. Or will they? Good job, buddy. Uh, you. Okie dokie, have these knives, have this... Iqua! Uh, we'll keep the revolver just in case. Let's take a cataphract helmet right now. No, we can't afford it. Um... Jump packs! Three thousand, can't afford it. Uh, right, 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 right. Nothing I can afford. I'll just take the money then. Whatever. Trying a VFE mechanoids run with true commitment mode. 
I didn't like VFA mechanoids. I didn't like it. I felt that the freaking one of the mechs was overpowered and terrible. Stupid explodey mech. Hated him. I hated him. But otherwise, it was alright. Had some pretty cool stuff in it. Had some cool stuff. Alright, I need to split the VOD. Uh, YouTube, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know how it goes. Uh, we'll be back with some more of this, hopefully. And hopefully I won't die again. <laughs> Who knows? And I'll see you next time. Farewell, YouTube. Farewell.